So it came dual sided. I think the right side got in, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, B Doc, don't do him like that. The brand new Brian Dawkins. Oh no, your feelings is hurt. You ain't catching me. Now there's a good chance you're watching right now and the comments are disabled. Unfortunately, that's nothing we can control. YouTube is doing that. If you want a full explanation, look in the description. But in the meantime, get at your boy on Twitter, man. I miss interacting with you guys. That's just what we're gonna have to do in the meantime. Enjoy the video. Maverick fam, how's it going? How's your mama, your boy Dion, AKA I Maverick, and welcome back to Full Game Friday. Nope, I've, I've messed up my intro, but still, nope. I'm not the best Madden player in the world. I'm all right, though. All glory to God. Um, I'm going to be rocking with the West Coast playbook, okay, again. And we're going to be working on a different formation than last time just to add to the scheme that I gave you guys last week. Offense is pretty much the same, I believe, since, you, since the last video you guys should have saw. Defense, we added Brian Dawkins. Pretty much the only difference. I think that's it, man. So without further ado, let's get in the game. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Uh, defense, we're running Jets. Jets on defense, West Coast on offense. Let's get it. All right, that's what I like to see. Someone that got a team that could put up a fight as we spanking them cheeks, spanking them cheeks. Okay, so I'm excited what we're going to be working with today. I'm glad we're starting out on offense, too. I'm going to be showing you guys... I can't believe I can't ever remember if it's far or near, but it's one of those two out of the West Coast book, and I like it, man. I'm still, I'm still messing with it. So by no means am I like the master of it. I did a weekend league only running it. Okay, it's the near. It's gonna be the near close or the near close flex. All right. Um, I'm gonna get Jerry Rice out of here. Put Tori in for audibles. We'll probably take a timeout here. We're going to go for the X. We're going to go post drag for the run. I like halfback inside. Flanker drive can stay as our audible for LB. And for the bottom, we're going to go Texas. There it is. So y'all know how I like to do it. I'll stay in a formation, run it as much as I can, try to get better with it. And I did this in this last weekend league. I didn't get all my games, and I got like 12, 15 games in. Uh, if I remember right, I only lost like two. And I was doing really good. Like, again, staying in this. Just in this, getting locked up a lot. Having to adjust out of it, find other things that work. And I almost gave up on it. I really did. Like, I was just barely winning my games. But the more I messed with it, the more I started to like it. So, uh, first, let's start with the runs. I, I mess up. I usually want to come out in the trap. But this inside zone is pretty good. This might be a formation where I can show you. A lot of times when you audible, no one's going to follow, and you can bust this to the outside. Whoops, like that. Oh, I thought I had Marcus Allen there. I was trying to screw, screw right up in there. I kind of premeditated that just to show you that you can get to the outside. You don't always want to commit to it, but I want you to know that that's there. Because when you look at this, these running plays, you'll feel like you can only run to the inside, and that's not the case. Okay? Um, I like this trap when you got someone right over that pulling guard over there on the left. It's not as effective But sometimes you get this weird little pocket even when that guy's there where you can like uh, To the right. I'm gonna try to hit it here on a second and 13 not ideal But we got some dots out of here, too. Ooh, oh Oh, I over hit it to the right, but it was there. It was there. I didn't have to get as glitchy um, those are our two main run plays. Every now and then, if it's like really short yardage, I'll go full back dive. And that's it for the running. Besides that, my main passing play is going to be post drag. Just because it's really versatile and really simple. My first read is going to be this drag, okay? And if this is your first full game Friday, just understand. We start off a little bit slow as I'm trying to explain all this to you. Uh, but then we get really glitchy. Um, and and it, this creates a really tough situation for the user. Hopefully he's usering here. If he dives on X, which he kind of did, but not really, you have this in route. Way to roll for that first down for me, Tori. Um, but if they bite on that drag, if you're if you're quick with it, that in route is beautiful. And then you have that. You have like a three level attack. You have like the drag, the in, and then the post deep. Okay. Uh, but let's try and work this for real now. Let's try and get this run popping. Oh, I do need to sub my running backs as well. If you got two running backs, this works even better. 
if you have more of like a powery guy like I have in Bo Jackson I put him in the middle and then my more shifty guy on the right um, maybe a more budget version of this would be well Marcus Allen has actually dropped in price so you could get him and then you could go with uh, maybe like Deuce McAllister instead of Bo Jackson someone that has like Bruiser or or, or whatchamacallit oh he ran commit there and Clowney came back to snatch that? Okay, that was glitchy. That was glitchy. And I low-key should have just bombed it over top because he ran commit. Bad play. Bad play by me. But I usually have a bad play first drive. I'm in so much tutorial mode. We're going to bounce back. But I got most of what I wanted to explain. Ah, no, I really didn't. We got, some, we got some dots out of there. But they'll just naturally come. Uh, something else I've been doing on defense, though, is this 1-4-6 cover three. Ooh, they'll probably really scream against what he's doing. Bluff. Hold on. Oh, man. I'm going to abandon it for here. I'm using it. All right. <laughs> That's not what I, I wanted it to look like. But uh, just the cover three sky and the cover two sink, they just scream kind of by default. You drag those bl those blitzing DBs down to the line and contain. It's money. Single back bunch. I'm not really gonna want to run it against, but if he gets out of this, we'll get back to it. I'm gonna drag this guy out in case he wants to run a toss, and we're good. Locked. Get your run locked up, ninja. He's probably gonna go back though. We want Lawrence, John Randall. Let's get Reggie White on the line. Ooh, do I want to bring? Nah, I'm good. All right, so watch this. Let's go. Let's let's go off of the left side. Press. Bring him in. Contain. Just like that. That's it. I'm a pass commit as well. I don't know what he's doing over there. See how it screams? How it screams? Even, uh, sometimes, sometimes. I mean, I have had it. Even when they block the running back on the same side, it still screams in. But ideally, you want to flip it if there's no running back. Or if there's, there's a running back blocking on that side. What you can also do is you can just blitz the the purple on the other side it's like if i want to try and do dual side blitz that ah so you want it you want to um i'm gonna accept that you want to drag that that zone in so that he's on the contain and that screams which is huge for me because I was staying in 3-4 a lot even against, you know, some spread sets. So mixing that in has been good because we got more DBs on the field. So I don't have linebackers guarding. Um, whoopsie. Oh, that was risky. I don't have linebackers guarding wide out. So that, that form has been really good for me. It's harder to stop the run, though, for sure, for sure. At least for me. But again, I only had like 10 games in Weekend League to run it. So there's probably some run D out of it. I just got to, I need more time with it. Alright, let's lock in. If we can get him run come in to try and stop this, that'll be beautiful. We're going to take this to second quarter. Some notes that you want to take. That spacing play. I'm trying to I'm trying to get all the explanation in so I can just focus and throw these dots for y'all. The smash play is a great like third and fourth and short conversion play. Uh, you can mix it in. Uh, watch, let's come out in it. Smash is in our audible, so if you're going pass heavy, this is a great play to come out in. You got, and honestly, how I run it often is I'll streak a because sometimes people be bringing their safety in to try and stop me. But you have these hitch routes with square and circle. And even if they're manned up, you can low point them. Look, perfect. Uh, I had I had the running back open, but just to show you there. I'm trying to teach here. The running back was open to the left. I don't know if you saw it. But 
even when they're manned up like that, if you low point it, you can sneak it in there. And he wasn't just like manned up, but he was just lurking right over that. Okay. So how I usually run this is something like that. I don't always, I guess I, I could wheel this. No, I can't. I usually don't wheel Y. This is usually my setup for this. Often too, I'll run that. Okay. Ugh, I'm going to get into these streaks from the backfield, too. Look, I love this. I love, look. I love, okay, look, look, look. These streaks from the backfield are beautiful, too. Let's leave this stock right here, watch. Fourth and one, high pressure. This is such a safe go-to route. I'm looking at I'm looking at the user. If he's using more to the left, I'm going to go to B. Potential low point. If he's using to the right, I'm going to X, all right? Snap it. He's on the left. Low point. Oh, my Lord. That almost never happens where he runs a million yards back. Usually it's just like a quick boom and he'll fall and you're good. Maybe didn't even have to low point that though because there was room. But make sure you guys go to that often on like, I, sometimes I go to that more than even running it on like whatever in short. Okay. I usually try to like ramble and get all my explanations out at the beginning. Um... You're going to see us mixing that Texas play because that angle route is sexy. But besides that, we're pretty good. Oh, and then the streaks. Hold on. The streaks from the backfield are beautiful. And those get into so many sexy pockets of zones. That was a good run. I need my boys to get off these blocks, though. And there we saw one of the downsides of blitzing during a rundown because sometimes you get Let's out get of your LT gaps. on the line. As well you're headed towards the ball carrier with abandon. I think that's about it, though. And again, this is something we're like, if you've been watching the full game Friday for a while, and it's especially the more recent ones. Hold on, let me get down here. Oof. Boy! Uh, you're playing with fire. Um, but if you've watched all the way and you got the, uh, you watched like the spread one, I think I did that in the last episode. You mix the spread with the eye form I went over with you guys. This playbook also has a good bunch, and then this, you got enough depth to beat most solid people, you know. I don't know if you're beating the best people in the world just with the stuff I've given you, but it's going to help you a lot. I'm ready to make a play. What's up? I'm ready to hit stick. Ooh, I'm ready to get ran on. Whatever. Whatever. Those are good runs. We'll give it to it. And, 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 you know, that's just kind of the meta right now. You got to be able to stop the run four downs in a row because you lock someone up three downs. They're going to break it on the fourth. I don't think he's going to get that all game, though. And we're going to start putting up points here. But I will say this. I was definitely getting locked up at the very beginning of this when I was first running it. It's just it's just a little bit of tighter reads, especially if you're running the spread. You don't have as much room for error because everyone's so much closer together. Uh-oh. Oh. Oof. I don't even want to I don't want to score. I know. I'm not I'm not all the way playing to win here. I want to show you guys this scheme. And I don't want his feelings to get hurt. I want him to stay in this game. Okay. So let's play for real for real. Okay. When I'm running this post drag, um I'm looking kind of to the right side of things, right? When we run this flanker drive though, it kind of moves stuff to the left side, so it keeps him not keying in to just one side of the ball. All right. So see now, if he's been watching us running the post drag, he's noticed like because it, it kind of goes to the right with the drag, and we hit the drag a lot. If you hit the drag early, if you hit the drag early, you have that wheel route from the running back, and he kind of works as a blocker. So that that drag comes underneath, you catch it, and then this wheel route comes and is a lead blocker for you. So I run that a lot, and people start kind of focusing on the right side of the field. You run that flanker drive, they now they got to focus on the left side. 
as they kick it away. You start throwing a lot of those drags, they start playing underneath more, then you hit the, the post the routes and the corner routes. So. Alright, now he's got to worry about stopping this run, man. If I'm if I get nervous about Anthony Barr's ability to block shit, I'll even put Aaron Donald on over there. I'm gonna spread, and I just gotta get out far right. Drag that out a little more. I feel good about this setup. Yep. Let's go. Let's go. Non-existent in this first half as they'll stop him behind the line. This I usually can adjust to like the stretches pretty well. It it's the dives that get me sometimes. I'm gonna drag him out. Whoa, what was that? Did y'all see that? He like moved when he motioned over, like moved my safety to the right. He had a nice little out route or something. I'm expecting a pass here. So that cover three sky blitz also works. Out of out of um cover two sink at the bottom, but I don't like it with what he's in now. We're gonna come out in that storm brave press. I'm going to blitz my linebacker. Fluff. No, I'm not. Dang it. Let's go. Shout out to my press getting it, or my press holding. Going cover three. I saw he did a little double move there. Watch the guy on the right. See that double move he did? Yeah. I'll take that. Give me that. Let's get it. I don't want to score. I don't want to score. Oh, there's 26 seconds, Matt. Pay attention, Negro. This isn't like a huge... And again, if I'm like playing try hard, come out in eye tight, man. See if you can kill him with the stretches first. Okay? I don't know that this is the first formation I'm coming out in. I don't think it's the best one. But it's, I'm just giving y'all a deeper look into the, the West Coast playbook. He almost got some fluky interception there, too. Um, to be honest, I'm not really going deep with a lot of this passing. So I should have ran that, but um, we're probably playing for a field goal here for sure. Yeah. Drag, in route. Ah! Oh, I had... Just get that. I had the post. I had the post. I was I was a little scary about throwing it because it is a, it definitely is a tight throw. I really want to try to get points here too. So I actually hold on. So we're actually gonna go to spread for this. Oh, he ain't like that. Another thing too that I really haven't been doing. Is if you got a mobile quarterback, Steve Young, um, Lamar Jackson, the Vic, bro, you mix that in, which I might do right here, depending on how he plays this out route. Like, don't forget, we still got that as part of the scheme. So, 53, I think, I think we can make this, but I'm gonna come out in this deep out see see if I like what I see probably should just kick it honestly because we know we can make a 53 yarder we're just risking it and, and waiting allowing something stupid to happen here they failed once in this spot earlier but the offense will stay out to yeah let's be smart down. let's be smart now the Raiders gonna burn their third and final timeout as he'll stop it with 13 seconds to play in half right. number one. Okay. And the so we're, he gets ball at half, but going coming back out. So a big play before the end of the half to when get we get rock, we're gonna make sure we mix the runs in. And uh, 
and make him stay honest to that. Sugar cookies. And then after that, we're just dinking and dunking, and that and that and that eventually opens up some big plays. Oh, I, I, I showed you guys, I showed you guys the hitch routes. Yep, those are clutch. Like when you, oh, I gotta show you guys the streaks out the backfield. Lock that man up. That's all you got, and you know it. Okay. As long as we contain that run, we're going to be fine. And we've already shown we got the defense for it. I want this hit stick, though. Who want a free sugar cookie? Come back into Brian Dawkins. Yep, come back. And his guys are going to start their drive right at the 20-yard line. What has he shown us? He really hasn't had nothing but the run. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. They're close, close game, but they're going to need to do a little bit better probably here in half two. I didn't all the way like that because he got me before I was able to get to my user, but against the ace, I like to get them linebackers out a little bit more. A little bit more than um, if you just spread them. Like, if you spread them, you don't really get, I want, like, that. And then I can, and then sometimes it creates a little pocket that they can run through, but I can close that with my user. Okay, see, see? So they're out there for that. Like, people will run dives and then try to scoot out to the outside. And if you don't drag them out there, sometimes your linebackers come in, get caught by the tackles or tight ends, and they get to that outside. But you saw he was just waiting for them. That's what I do. Ace is, Ace is tricky. Not as many people run it. Dang it. Okay. Stuff we got to account for. Our users probably would have been there. We got to get better at getting quick hiked. We just saw a nice example of why teams often bring in baseball guys to teach I need a press too. how to slide in key situations. You want to protect your franchise guy. Make sure he doesn't get hurt. This dude, he did exactly this dude doesn't have, he's not much of a threat. A perfect slide to avoid the big hit and pick he's, up a uh, first down. He's 100% locked in to the meta. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. They'll try to throw now. Young. Get locked up. That's just straight user. My blitz didn't even come in. Or I, I was usering the guy because whatever formation he was in, it had my blitzer way to the outside. Oh, single back bunch. This isn't smart. I don't think he's going to run it, man. So this should work. Might have to use some nice users to stop this if he runs. Escaping the pressure right. And he'll avoid the tackle there with a slide. Partner, I honestly don't even know if this comes in against under center. I don't know if I've even ran it against under center. So I'm, I'm, we labbing on the fly. Ooh, I like. Ah! This would have been a good time to do, use the sink. No surprise at all. Young working out of the gun. Steps away to his left. Quick hike me like a mug, and it still didn't work. And no move to get the offense off the field. Despite failing once, they're gonna go. Yeah, try it now. Try it now. Screaming. <laughs> That's what you get. A surprising move to go for it. Predictably. I'm not mad at him. I just hate him. <laughs> like, he plays how I would play if I was trying super try hard to win. So for that reason, I can't be mad at him, but it's just not fun to play against. But I'll play like that in a heartbeat. So. That's why I'm not mad at him. I just hate him. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Ooh. I feel like I want to bust this to the outside, but we're going to keep him honest. That was almost it. That little pocket I was telling you guys about where you kind of just curve it to the right and it's so sexy. We just did a bad job hitting it. 
And that's why with a lot of these runs, having like a bruiser back works really well because you can just armbar your way out of it. I'm looking for the inside here, but I'm not afraid to bust it to the outside. I'm okay with this. I'm okay with this. And then we go to some like smash where we look for these little hot dots. And if they're not open, we run. Users on the left. I'm looking to the right. Easy. Like those double hitches are going to be a problem for anyone. Kind of want to. I, I should run the trap, but I'm gonna stay with this. I want to. When you make this play, why did I juke inside? If I would have kept that to the outside, I would have liked my chances a lot better. This is gonna be the one game where I don't break that. I'm gonna watch Clowney doing his glitchy stuff he's been doing, but that block. Ooh, did you see that? That block I had up there? That's how that usually plays out. All right, we're going to take this to the fourth. Just want to see what he wants to do with it. Again, this is like around the range where these where these hitches are, are money. And think, let's say you're staying in spread and I form most of the game, and then you come out in this, like for a, a third down or something, they're not going to really know what to do, man. So main thing is I'm watching the users. Where are the users at? Left side. Oh, good. Oh, give me that, dude. That was a really bad throw, Vic. Ah! Even though his users were getting there late, that's... That's what we want. We just want Vic to not throw it in the dirt. We're going to take our three. Lock up. And we pretty much know what's going to come. He might try to run it first down. If not, he's just coming out and passing it and looking to run. I wonder if he's even trying to look for an open read or if he's just looking for a, a hole to scramble through. Yeah, he's going to try and run it. Uh, this formation can be annoying sometimes, too. Watch the stretch. He's going to just cycle through all the best run, run formations until he finds one that works. Here's the best part about playing these guys, though. Is that if you can stop him? Let's go. I, I sent that guy that was manned up to the running back to sack him right there. Because he's not even looking to, like, throw. He's just looking to run. Let's go. Get out of here, bro. Just don't quit. Don't quit, man. Finish this butt whooping. So I can I got I got more I want to show of this scheme. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. right. We're gonna down, come back out in this. Something. There's nothing available there for him. One score down, here we go. They're gonna go for it here on fourth down. When I don't know which way he's going to be necessarily keeping the running back in on a formation like split close, I'm going to blitz off the left just to try and get Steve Young, who's a left-handed quarterback, running to his right. Let's get it. Don't quit. Don't be a weenie, man. All right. So first and goal, six points here would Bro, be that's just dude. This one I usually hit these, man. For whatever reason, this video. 
And he'll give it here to his running back. There we go. Stuff like that, man. Just you can you can break those. Able to stay in bounds, so the clock keeps rolling. And this defense right now. Shout out to my guy, 3D, 3033J. You can uh, you can break those for even more too, just depending on how they're playing it. First guy there, hold them up. Second, third guy in, rake it the football. Get it out. We've got to create a turnover because one more score, and this game's over. Let's go, Marcus. And these are the times where I like the fullback dive. It'll be a gain of five, and it's going to set up. We're going to hit that two clock, put more pressure on him. And I'm just spamming A as soon as my guy gets it. Looking to, like, if anyone comes through, hit him with the stiffy. You quit like a weenie. But even, you know, even we got to go for two, those hitches are money. But yeah, man. Oh, you ain't going to quit? Come on. Let me try and get this two-point conversion. But that's it, man. You guys add this. I kind of want to do another game. I just don't. I hate giving y'all like these super duper long videos. So if enough of you guys want me to do like a part two, maybe next week, still running this. And sometimes that's what I think I need to not, because I don't feel like I get everything out to you guys. And depending on how my opponent plays, it, it sounds like an excuse, but I can say this because I won this game. With me trying to force some of these reads down your guys' throat just so you know they're there. I'm, I'm throwing picks or making mistakes because the opponent's not playing in a way that I should be doing that. But I know it's there for some opponents, so I try to do it. So, yeah. Uh, ooh, so we're going to block our running backs. Same thing here. I noticed he went from left to right last time, so I'm banking on him doing that again. Kind of premeditating that, but let's see. Let's get it. Let's get it. So he ain't necessarily commit all the way, but he moved. He moved. He moved away just enough. So again, remember what what what. Remember what lane this scheme is that I gave you here. It's very good. You can run it up and down the field. We've been doing it. Die. But, but. Start probably in the I form. Just try to run down their throat, and then after that look to go to spread if they do well locking that up oh someone's blinking imagine being down 14 with two minutes left and just trying to bank on a run to save you imagine that I'm not gonna press just cause fluke happens man It'll be a pickup of a couple, and it leaves him with a third and three. Don't play like this, y'all. Watch these full game Fridays. You got to have some dots in your life. Get up off that block. Oh. You got to have some dots in your life, guys. Honestly, with homeboy blinking. Oh, he's not blinking no more. Okay. They have the first down with that gain of four yards. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. Oh. oh. I dumbed out with my user. I should have been right there to get to that. I, like, clicked off and did some stupid. Uh, I'm so mad, too, because the first time you passed it, I should have been there to get that. Blitz in the running back. The guy man up on the running back. Just to send some heat here. I'm gonna need that, buddy. Dude's got as many completions to my team as he does his. What's crazy is he's probably won a lot of games, too. And you know they've got to keep going for the big shot, right? So defensively, you play what they call top down. Nothing. All right, we'll go back to again. I I wouldn't call cover two here. It's gonna leave me a little bit open. Deep, but I just want to show you guys the cover two sink works well. Two, just drag that guy in. Oh, hello. 
Oh, I'm asleep. Uh, he he kind of got hemmed up there. There we go. He's screaming now, though. <laughs> What's up? What's up, man? What's up? And imagine you can have both of these in your audibles and just go back and forth between them. Right here, I don't even need to move the guy. He's on the right. Screaming. Ooh, you're 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 in a box. Cause all you do is run. And that's what I want you. I don't want you guys to be that way. I don't want you guys to be one dimensional. I'm watching the seam on the right. Coming down here. You can have that. Inbounds. Let's get it. Watch this. So look, you can do it on both sides too. Blitz him. I got two contains. Show my play. It won't let me show my play. Oh, there it is. You saw that? So it came dual sided. I think the right side got in, if I'm not mistaken. Oh, B Doc, don't do him like that. The brand new Brian Dawkins. Oh no, your feelings is hurt. You ain't catching me. I got a style on you. Because I don't respect you. As a human being, I do, but as an opponent, no. You're trash. You're trash. You're trash. All right. So I hope you guys got some good stuff out of that. Even on defense. I'm not usually a good defensive guru scheme guy. So I try to focus on the offense. Because I never come up with this defense on my own. But that is definitely a good blitz to mix in. It's not going to be the best one in the world. If you go against it, block your running back. And then occasionally it'll still get in. But just block your running back and step up in the pocket. You're usually good. It's not that tough to stop. And... Um, and then make sure you guys are mixing in this formation on offense. He, he let us get in a, a decent amount of drives. I wish the run would have popped a little bit more because those runs can be pretty glitchy. Um, but again, if you're trying to play to win, start out in the I form like I've showed you in previous videos. Then go to the spread. Mix this in every now and then. Short yardage plays. Like this is a great short yardage formation for dots and runs. I didn't I didn't and then I didn't get to show you this but streak the running backs out the backfield and they they're really good against zone because they kind of go out and then just straight up and just because of where their formation or where they're on where they're at in the formation you can do it to both sides and almost one of them will be open for like quick dots and so sometimes I'll do out routes from the receivers and the tight ends so that out route on so for example let's say I'll do a streak from the the slot on the right and out routes from my tight end and the far right receiver so they kind of take zones out and then I streak both running backs out the backfield so I have those hotty dotties so check it out um, I think that should be enough for you guys if you want to see a part two of just that formation let me know but I love you guys thank you for rocking with your boy till next time God first God bless